There is a legend of a terrifying beast that lives in the woods. A wolf with eyes as black as night that look right into your soul and speak to you. If you ever dare to go there, you must always look ahead and don't ever stray from the path. My name is Red. It has been my name as long as I can remember. But that's just it. I don't remember very much at all. I don't remember my real name. I don't remember anything from when I was younger. Who my friends were, or if I had any. I know I don't have any now. I don't remember where I lived. I don't remember my garden or my house. I don't remember my parents, or what happened to them. And Gran has never told me. My memories pretty much start with living with my gran. She raised me and was one of the few people that was ever truly good to me. She's not my earliest memory though. The earliest memory I have is of the wolf. Even now, when I close my eyes, the wolf is all I ever see. He haunts my every dream. Off to see your grandmother, are you? How is the old bat? Still as crazy as ever. You do know she's the laughing stock of the entire village, don't you? You should stay away from her. I don't know why you waste your time going to see her every Sunday, and for what? She probably doesn't even know who you are anymore. You need to live a little. I can show you how to live a little if you'd like. Fine, suit yourself, bitch. Don't run into any wolves, Red. I won't be there to save you. I won't need saving. I've never needed saving. Look ahead of you like a good little girl. And don't stray from the path. Be careful on the bridge. And remember... just a fairy tale. It wasn't real then, and it isn't real now. Are you going to share those? Thank you. Delicious. Did you make them yourself? I baked them for my grandmother. She'll be waiting for me. I really should be going now. There's no need to rush. It's such a beautiful day after all. Just look at all these flowers. Wouldn't your grandmother be so happy if you picked a few for her? Perhaps I should pick some flowers. Grandma would be most pleased. I, on the other hand, must dash. Perhaps I'll see you again, little Red. What a strange creature. Not really that terrifying at all. Perhaps he is not the wolf my grandma speaks of. When did it start getting so late? I much preferred it when Grandma lived in a cottage. <laughs> well, this is definitely not a fairy tale.
out of you like a good little girl. You took your time, Little Red. Shame about the flowers. Yes, it is a shame. Grandma would be disappointed. Well, lucky for you, your grandmother isn't here anymore. Not much of her, anyway. I must say, though, I did enjoy speaking to her. Delightful old woman. I bet she had some stories to tell. She does. She has the best stories. Your big ears would have loved listening to them. Not all there, though. That's what homes like this do to people. I've seen it happen many, many times before. She kept saying your name right up until I killed her. And what name would that be? <laughs> I think I want a drink now. To be ashamed for it to go to waste. Go right ahead. I'm going to tell you a story. This is my story. When I was a little girl, my parents were murdered by a beast. He killed them and ate them right in front of me. And I watched. He cut them up and devoured them piece by piece. And I forgot. How could someone forget something like that? Forget their own parents. I was so scared. But he didn't touch me. He just grinned at me with his large, sharp teeth. And he looked into my eyes, to the very depth of my soul. And his eyes were black and as cold and as dark as the night. And that I didn't forget. I couldn't forget. I see them. Wherever I go and whomever I speak to, I see them in my dreams and... I see them now. For they're your eyes. And you are the beast. You have controlled my life. You ruined my life! But this is my story. And you are no longer a part of it. 